welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing really well. So today I'm going to be showing you how to cut and style your hair extensions. I'm always getting questions on how I cut my extensions because as I do have short hair, I can't really walk around with extensions down to my waist because that would not blend in at all and it would not really look that great. So I thought I would show you guys how I cut them. I'll also be showing you how to style them in a kind of Victoria's Secret inspired way to do. So yeah, the hair extensions I'm going to be using today are by Lux Hair. They are an Australian brand, so you may not have heard of them, but I've been playing with their hair for a good week or so, and let me tell you, the quality of their hair is amazing. It is 100% Remy human hair. Each packet comes with seven wefts. Each weft is double drawn, so what that means is each weft has two wefts sewn to it, if that makes sense. So one piece is pretty much two wefts. So in each packet you're getting like 14 wefts in seven pieces. So I think that's pretty cool and really good for value. The shade I got was number nine. I purposely got a shade that is a little bit lighter than my hair because I want to kind of cut them a little bit shorter than I normally would, a little bit closer to my natural hair length and yeah, kind of create a highlighted look without having to actually dye highlights into my hair. The hair is very silky soft as you would expect in any hair extension company. I mean you wouldn't want to buy extensions and use them and have them to be like really coarse and just not feeling that great which has happened to me before but with these it is not like that at all. They're very soft extremely extremely thick which is what I'm loving. They are the same thickness from top to bottom which I am loving because I hate that kind of stringy wispy ends like you know when you buy cheap extensions and you clip them in and they're really thick from the top but then when it gets to the bottom they get really like thin and stringy and it's just not cute but these aren't like that at all they are extremely thick silky smooth double drawn each weft is each packet comes with seven wefts as i mentioned before and yeah so i'm going to jump off camera and clip these into my hair if you want to see how I clip in my hair extensions, you can look at my Ariana Grande inspired hair tutorial where I show you how I clip in my extensions. I pretty much just clip them all the same way. So yeah, I'm going to go clip those in and I will be back in a second. Okay, so I have got them all clipped in now. I've got a three piece on the bottom, the five piece going across the crown or in the middle of my head. And then I have got two two pieces on the sides. One two piece here and another one here. I've got the another three piece at the top of my head and then I've got two one pieces towards the front. So the first thing I'm going to do before anything is I'm going to put a towel on my lap just so the hair has somewhere to fall. I would usually do this standing up but it's a bit difficult to do that now. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just take the top parts of the hair Kind of just halving it, halving it, and then I'm going to attempt to pin this up because it is so thick. Usually I would use a butterfly clip, but I actually don't have one on hand at the moment. Okay, so then I am left with this hair. I'm going to try so hard to cut this as straight as possible, but it is so hard. I've got a mirror in the back, so if you see me kind of leaning, that's because I'm trying to look in the mirror. Okay, so I'm actually going to start with this side. I'm going to just brush it out with a comb. And I'm just going to just check out where I want to cut it. So I'd say about here. So I want to cut off this much hair. I think these extensions are 22 inches. So they're a fair bit long. Yep, so I'm going to cut it here. Okay, let's see how I'm going to do this. Okay. 
You just want to make sure that you have got it going straight. Yes, I cut them this short on purpose. I really just want to have a pair of extensions that I can add to my hair, not for any length, but just for volume. So I'm just going to make sure that it's even. And then I am moving on to the other side. I'm going, I'm not going to cut it as short from the start. I'm just going to cut a bit from the ends, or most of the ends. As you can see, this side blends in with my natural hair perfectly. You can see darker parts that are my hair, and then the lighter parts are actually the extensions, but it just looks like natural highlights. And that is what I was going for. So I'm just going to attempt to even it out. jump off camera just to make sure I had gotten them even you guys this is actually really scary for me to do because I can't see anything that I'm doing I have a mirror right in front of me but I can't see okay so I'm just going to let down the rest of my hair so I can imagine what a lot of you were thinking like why in the world are you cutting the extensions so short but what you need to understand is that I will wear them a lot more now that they're shorter than having them this long because it just doesn't blend in with my hair and it doesn't feel as comfortable. So I'm just going to grab that actually. I'm just going to... Usually if I was cutting them... Well, I wouldn't, technically I've never cut extensions this short before, but I'm just doing what I do with all of my extensions when it comes to cutting them. I won't be leaving them this blunt. I will be texturizing the ends and whatnot. So I'm just gonna continue doing the same thing. You guys and you also want to make sure that you don't cut your real hair like I almost just did. This was such a spontaneous video. I absolutely love it. I just love doing different things. Not Many people would actually cut their extensions this short, but... I like to be different. So I just jumped off camera to kind of help me see a little bit more because I am completely blind and I was scared that I was going to cut my natural hair, which I almost did, I'm not going to lie, but I'm just fixing up the ends now and I'm pretty happy with how it's looking. You can't even tell that I'm wearing extensions right now, like I absolutely love them. So as you can see as well, the ends are looking very blunt. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take a pair of texturizing scissors 
I don't remember the place I got these from. I did do hairdressing a few years ago. I don't know if you guys knew that or not, but yeah, I have these from when I did hairdressing. So I will try to find them and leave a link to them down below. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the... So the curling one I'm going to be using is by Bellamy. This is in their 6-in-1 curling set. I'm not too sure what the barrel size is, but I'll leave it down below. I'll leave links to these extensions and a coupon code for you guys to save some money down below as well. So I'm just going to take, I don't know. So I'm just going to take like bigger pieces. I'm not really going to take big pieces only. I'm just going to take a bunch of hairs and just twist them around. We don't want this to be too perfect. Well, we actually want this to look messy and loose and natural. So I'm not going to hold that on for very long. Yo, that's my extension peeping through. We don't want this to be too perfect. Well, we actually want this to look messy and loose and natural. So I'm not going to hold that on for very long. Yo, that's my extension peeping through. Okie dokie. I'm not trying to replicate a Victoria's Secret hairstyle exactly. I am just doing a kind of inspired by look just by the loose naturalness of it. I don't actually want to go all in and do the exact VS look. Alright, so I'm pretty much done with all the curls. I am so happy with how it's turned out. I'm not gonna lie, getting into this video, I'm sitting here thinking like, okay, do I really wanna cut them that short? Do I really wanna do this? But no regrets here. I am so happy with how it's looking. I've just got to move my hair properly and blend in the top tips a little bit more, but other than that, I am so obsessed. I'm so happy right now. To further define the curls, I'm gonna be taking this Be Bent Curl Booster Activator from PPS. It's a gel. So I'm just going to squeeze a small amount of that gel on my hand, just like that. Rub it into my hand and just press it into my hair. I used to use this all the time when I would curl my, I used to, work, <laughs> high school story for you guys, I used to wake up every morning at 6 a.m. and curl my hair. I had this upset. My hair naturally is pin straight. What you saw before is my natural hair. A lot of the time I wake up with it a lot straighter than that. But I had this obsession with curling my hair every day. And I would curl it and I would put some of this in and the curls would last all day. So this is pretty much it. I don't like to brush out the curls or anything. I really like that messy, I just woke up kind of look. Which is very similar to what the Victoria's Secret Angels have on the runway show. It's not exactly the same. That wasn't the aim. But I am very, very happy with the outcome. What do you guys think? What are your opinions on this? Would you cut your hair extensions this short? Or would you prefer them longer? If you would like to see me do more hairstyles incorporating extensions or curls or any any kind of hair tutorial in general let me know i prefer to keep my channel a lot more based around makeup because i am a makeup artist but i don't mind doing hair tutorials as well because technically i am a qualified hairdresser i just don't do hair for people but i do for the most part enjoy it on myself 
If you guys want to see me do more styles, let me know. Let me know what you'd like to see and I will definitely do it for you. But yeah, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will leave all the links to Lux hair extensions down below as well as a coupon code where you can save some money, which we all love, let's be honest. But yeah, I am so happy with the outcome of this hair tutorial. I love it. I will probably be wearing these extensions every single day. I honestly have never been happier. They're just so thick and voluminous. Oh my god, I have voluminous hair. This is such a big thing for me because my hair is just so fine and flat and oh my god, it sticks up and everything. I love it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. That would help me a lot. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below for tutorial requests or just to tell me what you thought of this video. I always love to get some feedback and to see what you guys think. And yeah, thank you once again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh wait, and I also want to wish you guys a very Merry Christmas. It is not Christmas yet, Christmas is in two days, but I don't know if I will get this video up in time. But yeah, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year to all of you guys. Love you with all my heart and I hope you have a very enjoyable day. Bye!